There's a mix of sadness and hurt with the loss of yet another young child in New Orleans. Someone left a stuffed animal and balloons on the stairs in front of a home in the 3100 block of Law Street. According to the NOPD, a woman was arrested here on Sunday for allegedly stabbing her two children, a four year old daughter and a two year old son. The young girl did not survive that attack and the children's father reportedly hurried to that scene after seeing a disturbing social media post by the mother, 31 year old Janae Pes Pettisclo. She said in a bloodstained shirt, quote, my children are dead. I'm done. I'm done with life. The father, Jermaine Rogers, had to break through a front window to get the kids and rush them to the hospital. Reverend Johnny RV is the pastor of the Law Street Missionary Baptist Church just down the street from the mother's home. It hurts. It's, it's sad. You know, I feel for the children, the father, and even the mother. Uh, I really feel bad for her. The two year old boy is still alive tonight and he is still in the hospital with serious injuries. Tonight, Erica Ferrando is following the story. It's just a heartbreaking one, and she's joining us live on Law Street where police say that attack happened. Erica, what's the latest? That's right, Katie. The stabbings happened in the house behind me, and you can see those balloons and stuffed animals still sitting outside the front door. But according to court records, the father of those two children expressed concern for their safety months ago. A devastated uncle shared these photos of his beloved two year old nephew Jason and his four year old niece Paris. This old photo is one he now treasures more than ever as Paris died after the siblings mother allegedly stabbed them. A makeshift memorial now sits outside the Law Street home where it happened around 11 Sunday morning. While Paris died at the hospital, Jason was taken to a hospital in critical condition and is recovering. An OPD arrested the children's mother, 31 year old Janae Podesclo, for the crime. Moments after the stabbing, a woman that appears to be Podesclo shared a video on Instagram with blood dripping down her chest. We're not sharing the graphic video, but in it you can hear the woman say, my children is dead, I'm done, I'm done with life, and it's all Jermaine's fault. According to court records, Jermaine Roberts is the kid's father, and in April he filed a petition seeking sole custody of the two kids that would have allowed the mother weekend visitation rights. He claimed Podesclo didn't let him see the children since he was in a relationship. He said in the petition, quote, she's not stable or providing a healthy environment for the kids. He added, the mother takes non-prescription pills. She drinks and drives under the influence. Podesclo was set to appear in court for the custody battle in 10 days. Court records for a Janae Podesclo show a criminal history, including several arrests just over a decade ago for attempted simple robbery, drug charges, including using a fake prescription to get drugs, aggravated assault, and last year she faced criminal damage to property charges. Charges. And now for allegedly stabbing her children, killing one, Podesclo faces charges of second degree murder, attempted murder, and second degree cruelty to a juvenile. A tragedy the children's uncle says he wishes he could have saved them from. And the children's uncle said his nephew is still in Children's Hospital recovering. He said he is, though, improving. For now, live in New Orleans, Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News.